Okay. So, if you hear some noise in the background, that will be my mum talking. Um, because with my learning disability, I've had my mum for 20... Four years. My 24 now. Yeah, 24. 24 now. So, mum did a really good job of raising me on your own. <laughs> um, she's just over there, which you can't see her. She didn't want to be on camera. But it's a serious topic that I want to talk about and with having a learning disability myself and mum watching me grow up and having been as discriminated against myself and with my mum going through uh, bowel cancer three years ago and then having liver cancer where the bowel then went on to the liver and having chemotherapy twice and now having 5-FU and another chemotherapy uh, drug mixed in every three weeks and obviously the last three years haven't been easy for her with having to go from mobility and not having some and ended up in a wheelchair and having to have alterations in the house and myself caring for her but this is mainly about today that we went to Costa because I wanted to get her something to eat and drink because we hadn't we'd gotten up but we hadn't had any breakfast we just sort of left the house to go and do our normal Food bits sort of we wear. needed to do wasn't it yeah sort of like not a full shop but just stuff for the animals mm take a shredder back to Argos which we didn't know they weren't open until we actually got there and this was a I'm not going to hide anything names are going to be well not names because I didn't know the woman's name but places will be mentioned and this was at the Riverside in Norwich which is you That's literally have Riverside Costa in Norwich yeah which is a because of my LD my mum helps me explain stuff so it basically Amelia took me for a quick coffee because we had to stop at Boots there and um, she took me for coffee, Amelia and her stepdad was there and I was there. Um, I'm in a wheelchair, I have been for the last three years because my mobility isn't good, I can walk a little bit, I have to have sticks in the house. Um, at the moment we're all wearing masks and gloves because obviously we're in isolation but um, it's been lifted a bit because I'm at high risk for it. The government have lifted me, but I've had letters. Anyway, Amelia decided to take me for a coffee and a little sandwich or something. We got to the door, a young girl stood there. She told us it was one person per household in at a time. Now, you can see the tills where we were standing. There was two people paying for stuff at the till that came out and got in a car together. Um... She then said Amelia could go in or on her own. My husband could go in on his own. Um, when I said to her that I couldn't push myself in the chair, I needed someone to push me. Um, she then kept mentioning that um, they had a menu and that she could tell me what the menu is and someone else could go in and get it for me. Obviously, we all know we like to pick our own stuff and have a look. Um, so my husband then said he got upset and he was going to go back to the car. He gave me my card. So she said, OK, I was allowed to go in with someone pushing me. And then she basically said it ended up that she kept saying to me, I, she would tell me what was in there and someone else could go and get my order. Amelia was allowed to go in, my husband was allowed, but I wasn't. And the last excuse I got was oh, the wheelchair won't fit. Now, as someone having to use a wheelchair, you're in a sitting position all the time. It's bad enough of that as it is. Um... And until you're in that situation, you don't realise, you can't see anything, you feel worthless. I have had three years of chemo and cancer, I've had half of my bowel removed, I've had over half of my liver removed, and I get someone, it's discrimination. And basically, Costa have given me £30 on my Costa point card, what's the good, none of the Costas are open, that was the only one open, and I'm not allowed to go in it. And I'm sorry to me, that is discrimination. I burst out in tears. It makes me feel worthless. It's not the only discrimination. I know there's a lot about Black Lives Matter. I agree with that. I don't agree with everything that's going on at the minute. But what about my daughter? 
has had 24 years of crap and people being uh, aggressive towards her. I've had three years of this being in a wheelchair. It's not nice. Costa, you know, needs to take up start and look at this. And also there is supposed to be laws about disabled access. And also there is a law, which you quote that, what was the law about disability against? So the Disability and Disabled Act came into 1988, I believe. I don't know if I've got that year right, but it was redone in 2010, which if you're disabled or have um, a hidden disability, it kind of protects you. So on the law that if someone discriminates against you because you're in a wheelchair or the way you look because of your disability, or a learning disability it kind of protects you in that aspect and with housing if you were to leave home it is a law and if anyone discriminates against yourself or you know someone who is disabled you can report it as a crime on 101 i think yeah yeah, yeah so on 101 you can ring them because obviously it does come under a hate crime now which we didn't know until recently ourselves which I like I, looking at the law quite a lot and I do, I am quite keyed up on it just because it is, I don't know why, but the law to me is something that I kind of, kind of fascinated with it or interested if that's how you want to word it. I think also because a lot of people like Amelia with a learning disability or, and which is classed as a hidden disability, some disabilities you can see, not all of them, um, I have this as well because I've got bits of my hair missing, it's gone very grey, but I haven't lost it all. So I have had people say to me, if you've got cancer, if you've got this, if you... I'm sorry, I know there are sick people out there who pretend to be ill. I'm not pretending. I would give anything to be normal and healthy. I would give anything not to go through. I've had two operations, they're over six hours long. I've literally been dicing with the devil on my last one i didn't know what was right and what was not right and i was in intensive care it's not nice it's and at the time i broke i had my liver up i had a broken arm as well because the chemo gives you brittle bones and i also have a form of lupus now i don't want these illnesses i would rather be like anybody else and we all take things for granted in life and also i'm an asthmatic amelia's an asthmatic we know what it's like to struggle to breathe but you can't see them no. because they're hidden. No. And All you these can look things. At me and you can't see no. my LD until you know me and the way I do things. And I know what I want to say, but I struggle to get it out. And for the last 24 years, I've had to stick up with a lifetime of people discriminating against me, trying to get an argument out of me, a reaction. And the point is, even though we have the Black Lives Matter protests going on at the minute, discrimination and racism is happening every single day to anyone. It doesn't it's, matter it's what. It's not you about look the colour like. of your skin. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, yellow, blue, red, pansexual, triangle, someone, whatever. If, if someone wants to be like that, they will be like that. And mm. it's all to do was there is one woman said one doctor said that it's not you don't get born a racist <coughs> you don't get born to discriminate people it's something that you're taught and unless people are untaught and told it's not acceptable it's why it keeps carrying on and I but think... it's that feeling you get to anybody you know r racism discrimination to anybody, whether you're disabled, the colour of your skin, whatever, is wrong because you have to imagine how you feel if that happens to you. That makes you feel so flippin' low. And it can affect your mental health. And also, why should you be made to feel that bad? That person doesn't know you. There's an old saying, never judge a book by its cover. You can look at the most wonderful person and think they're wonderful, you know, and they can be horrible. And the person you think, oh, I'm a void there, they don't look right, can be the most nicest person. You all right? So this is a video that after all these years, I think after watching what my mum went through and seeing her in intensive care and being 23 at the time and knowing not much about the world and learning to grow up, and having to watch my mum go through that and have her being discriminated. I mean, I shouldn't say this, 
but I'm used to it. When someone does it to me, I'm, I'm used to it. And I shouldn't have to say that. And it, it's not right to say that, oh, it doesn't matter because I'm used to it because I've had a lifetime. But when I see someone do it to my mum, it breaks me up inside. And after that, seeing my mum in tears and seeing her feel so rubbish because of a one woman who works at Costa, I didn't get her name, did all of that to upset my mum. And if she does see this, this is a message for you to the woman if you do see this. I'm not going to say I hope you're pleased with yourself, but my question is why do you feel that you need to discriminate against a disabled person? There's obviously something you're not happy about in life or there is something wrong or you've learnt this behaviour to do it to my mum or you're having a bad day, but why? I mean... People need to start, and the other thing is, people, if you're going to have really bad behaviour and you're going to be horrible to someone else, you really need to step up and say, look, I messed up, I'm sorry, can we find a way to move on? Instead of blaming someone else, you need to take responsibility for it. Amelia is a very kind, very loving girl. She does everything for anybody and she always tries to do things to help people. She loves animals. She's never hurt anybody in her life. And for 24 years, I've watched my daughter be discriminated against because of her learning disability. People should think and think, well, right, I will try and get to know that person and find out first. Um, I've even had people, when I had my, my liver up, I put an, an ad on Facebook for a cleaner I got some chap replied to me, oh, a woman who can't clean, that's very sexist. And no, I can't clean at the minute. I feel like crap. Try having a whole lot of drugs put in you to keep you alive every day of the week. My family and my girls tell me I'm strong. I don't feel strong. I carry on because I've got them and my grandchildren and my husband and my son-in-law and my two beautiful daughters. That's what I strive for every day. You can't tell if a person's got cancer. You can't tell if a person's got a learning disability. Not all the time. That's why they're called hidden disabilities. Never judge a book by its cover. I hope that this will help someone to learn. But as for Costa, in the last three years, I have had so many people, you know, and impatient people when you're trying to get a coffee. What? And it's like I'm an inconvenience because my wheelchair is in the way. Haven't I got just as much right to go to a counter and order a coffee as anybody else? I hope this will make people think and realise it's not right. It, it's not just all about one thing at the minute. It's, it's happening all over the world, not just to coloured people. It's happening to people with hidden disabilities as well. It's just you don't see anything mentioned about these things and companies seem to manage to get away with it it's all wrong i think i've always lived by the rule in my life that if someone is having rubbish behavior or they're acting crappy i would use the s word but you know we're on youtube and facebook i've always gone by the name and shame because if not, no one's never going to learn. But this is the message for Costa. After what happened today, I won't recommend your company to anyone. And I honestly think that you need to, I don't know, maybe speak you to your You honestly employees. need to think about your disabled and your employee's attitude towards people. Because one day... There could be one of them in a wheelchair. We don't know what life holds for us. And if cancer has taught me one thing, that's that you live life to the full and you appreciate anybody, everybody. And I always tell everybody I love them. But during this, I have a beautiful granddaughter and a beautiful grandson. I can't hug anybody at the minute. I can't cuddle anybody. That is really disturbing for me because with cancer, you don't know if it's all going to go pear-shaped. From my first cancer, we thought everything was okay. Then it spread to the liver. You don't know. 
it's the little things in life that everybody takes for granted and it's just a bit of kindness to each other and i think a message to the rest of the world well human population because we can't really let the animals do anything but If I'm going to say one thing to the human population is after Caroline when she committed suicide because of the press thing obviously if you know Caroline from Love Island you'll know what happened and she says if you can be anything in this world be kind and I still can't believe that being 24 and watching the world go through everything that's been through within six months is ridiculous so if you see someone having a bad day or someone's crying stop and help if you see someone trying to throw themselves off a bridge take time out of your day and help them you know just be kind it doesn't take that much to be kind or gentle or you know to take five minutes out of your day to someone who's distressed or who's got just it's having a really bad day. It's just sometimes you have to think, okay, that person may not look happy or may have snapped at me, but just think, what are they going through in their life? You don't know what anybody else is going through. So just be a little bit kinder to everybody else and each other and love each other. There's no need for all this hate in the world. I should think COVID has taught everybody something. You need to love each other. So thank you for watching the video and it would be really grateful if you could share it just to, I know people know a lot about discrimination that it happens every day but it's not in the press every five minutes and I think more people, it's a topic we need to start talking about more and raising more awareness, the discrimination part for people with hidden disabilities or disabled and illnesses so thank you